Hey Scorpio, how are you guys? So welcome to your general love reading for the second half of October 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Scorpio and it's a general reading which means that it might not resonate for all of you and that is perfectly okay. It also means that the roles can be reversed but if you would like a personal reading you can find all that information in the description box below this video. All right, so very first card out for you, we have a soulmate. Okay, so this is just telling me right off the bat that we're talking about somebody who is meant to be in your life, um, soulmate connection. So there is definitely very, very strong um, emotions, strong feelings. It's a very deep and strong connection. And this also oftentimes means that there are a lot of triggers and a lot of lessons to be learned, at least in this context, all right? Soulmate can, there are many different types of soulmates, but this is just what I'm getting here for this particular love reading. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what is going on with you last couple weeks of October. For the situation, we have the Page of Wands crossed by the Magician. Okay, so we do have Aries energy showing up here. All right, so I feel like communication might be an issue here, like um, and not only communication, but this is also, you know, having the um, motivation to step forward. And what I'm getting is that this seems to be an issue here, all right, in this connection that somebody just doesn't feel like they have what it takes in order to take a step forward, or they're just not feeling confident enough to either... Um, make a move in terms of communication or in terms of taking a step towards a particular direction here. Um, I, do, I do also get that this is related to the solar plexus chakra um, specifically, so it could be an issue there. Let's see the recent past, we have the hanging man. Okay, so it feels like recently things feel like they've been at a standstill, but it also feels like things have been left hanging. So I'm not getting an ending I don't feel like things have ended where somebody is not making a move. It's more of things were just kind of left up in the air. Things are, you know, kind of like this limbo state, um, at least in the past. Let's see your current energy here. We have the Six of Swords and the Empress. All right, okay, so I feel like what you're doing is you're actually moving away from this or you're trying to distance yourself from this connection in some way. And even though that might feel painful or it might feel difficult, it's actually helping you to heal and it's actually helping you to stand more in your power, but also to possibly create other things that you may not have been able to create or to get done or to do in the past when you were just in this limbo mode. Let's see for the other person, we have the Knight of Cups and the Lovers. All right, so Gemini is also um, showing up here. Okay, this is interesting because this is very, um, it looks very loving, it looks very affectionate, and I do get that there are these feelings coming from the other person, all right? With the Knight of Cups, this is somebody who um, is affectionate. This is somebody who does want to come in with a love offer, and maybe they are. Maybe they are because Knight of Cups and the Lovers. Um, again, this is kind of taking me back to that initial soulmate card where there is a very, very deep connection here and this person is feeling it. So yeah, we are gonna clarify so we will get more information, but let's see what is coming up for you. We have the Knight of Pentacles and for them, we have the King of Swords. All right, so for you, yes, this is you getting on a on some kind of a path here where I feel like you are just focusing on you and just really um, creating for yourself. But this is also representative of that Six of Swords, of that being a process. It's a gradual process, but you are on that path, which is very, very good. Um, for them, we have the King of Swords. So there's this is quite the opposite of that hanging man. Right, so this is um, this person, you know, becoming more confident within themselves, becoming more determined, having more willpower, being more action oriented. Whereas I feel like in the situation so far, or recently at least, you know, there was this lack of confidence within um, oneself to actually move in a direction. I, I do see movement here, both with the Knight of Cups and with this King of Swords. So let's clarify. 
let's see what is happening here. Let's get some more details. So let's see that page of wands with the magician for the main situation. Ooh, three of swords, the four of pentacles, and the ten of swords. Okay, wow, all right, this is a little heavier than it appeared to be. Ooh, okay. Scorpio, this is causing a lot of pain. This is actually creating a lot of pain. So even though I said that I don't really see an ending, it could be something that it almost feels as heavy as an ending, though. Like, the pain is that of an ending. And it's like it's being created because there's so much holding back. And I feel like, you know, you might be feeling like you need to hold back and that you are kind of holding back from um, taking any steps here, either because you feel like, you know, the other person is not also participating with that as that magician, you know, that they're holding back. And so like you're then also holding back or, you know, just them holding back is creating a lot of pain. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't really see that coming. I felt like, you know, but yeah, it's, it's, it's creating pain or it has created a lot of pain to the point of feeling like, you know, this is, this is an ending or to the point of feeling like you have been betrayed even. All right. But again, like there wasn't an ending. Um, it doesn't, it just doesn't feel like there was a clear cut ending to me even though I am, and I just saw the two of cups. So again, another card representing this, this love connection between you and this person. Let's see the hanged man. Let's just see what this is. Page of swords and the devil. Ooh, all right. So for some of you, this could even be that, you know, there was um, some exchange of words that may have been a little bit toxic or that may have felt unhealthy or that were just very, um, I don't know, <laughs> not very positive and it feels like that wasn't resolved. And then for others of you, this is just that there is a lack of communication where it just feels like there's this pause, you know, like th there was this limbo in the past in terms of connecting or in terms of having any kind of contact or communication. And, you know, being stuck in that limbo was actually um, quite unhealthy. There may have even been obsessive um, energy here, either from you or the other person, or maybe even both, all right? This is also Capricorn, so some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn. But again, I feel like this was in the past. I don't see you being in this devil's energy right now. I, I actually see you, you know, with the Six of Swords, you're actually leaving that behind and you're moving forward towards being this empress and not allowing this limbo state to affect you in this negative way, you know, by um, engaging in negative cycles, you know, or repeating negative patterns over and over again, especially in terms of, you know, reaching out or communication or, you know, just even in just the way that you're thinking about this. So let's see the Six of Swords. The Three of Wands and the Lovers. Okay, so Gemini showing up twice here. Um, and again, the lover's card again. So again, I, I, there's just so much confirmation here that this is a deep soulmate connection. So everything that is happening, it's happening for a reason, even if it is difficult, okay? So do know that. So what you're walking away from is waiting. This three of wands, you know, like this passiveness, this limbo mode, you're, it, it's like you're, you're just not engaging in that anymore. I'm not saying you don't have feelings for this person. I mean, I can definitely see the pain. I can see the hurt here. That's, that's definitely there. But you're doing what, what is in your highest good. Like you're doing what is good for you. And I feel like, you know, you're just not allowing yourself to get obsessive. You're not allowing yourself to be stuck in that limbo anymore in an unhealthy way. You're leaving that in the past and you're, you're moving, you're moving forward basically. So let's see the Empress, which is I think it's pretty much everything I've already said, but let's just see. Ooh, Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Wow, okay. So this is what you might not even be realizing is that, you know, by you doing this, even though it feels like you're walking away from this connection, it's actually leading you to, to love. Like, it, I mean, lovers, Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands. Like, you just being confident in yourself and you trusting your own self and what it is that you are doing. It's like you're trusting this healing process. That's actually in some way moving you towards happiness and it is moving you towards love. All right, whether it be with this person, um, you know, in the um, 
in the near future or whether you know that's to come later or you know whatever it doesn't matter like what matters is that you are moving towards love and you are moving towards happiness here within your own self i mean that's what i'm getting with that empress and the queen of wands this is this has to do with you not the other person really but that might indirectly um you know actually help this connection to come together or it's just going to move you towards love in, in another way it doesn't matter what matters is that you are moving towards that happiness that's what spirit is saying here so let's see for the other person let's see this knight of cups the two of pentacles and the six of pentacles all right, so two of pentacles cards, and both of these are kind of like juggling energies a little bit, trying to find some balance, all right? So this is somebody, like I said, you know, who who does have this love for you and who does want this connection with you. And if you don't feel that, like if you feel like, you know, no, this is not how my person is, this might not be your reading, or, you know, this might just be um, what is happening behind the scenes that you might not be aware of. It really depends. Please don't take this if it doesn't resonate for you, okay? This is... It, it just can't be for every single person out there. You will know if this is you. So two of pentacles, six of pentacles. This is somebody who has a hard time coming forward to express their love or to give you that love offer. Now, for a lot of them, I'm getting that it's because um, two of pentacles and six of pentacles, they're trying to balance out a lot of energies. Like they might be overwhelmed by having a lot on their plate. There's just they might be just be dealing with multiple things at the time and that is one thing that they're trying to bring into balance for some of them this could be um financial issues which are causing a sense of insecurity or feeling like they're just not that stable um in that area and this could be affecting you know their sense of ability to come forward right because it doesn't mean that it really is like maybe you don't give a shit you know what their financial situation is like but with the magician being in the um, challenge position here i feel like this is somebody again solar plexus not feeling that confidence that they can be stable because with the two of pentacles i'm getting that you know there is a sense of instability here in terms of their physical environment and so because of that they feel like they cannot give Six of Pentacles, right? They want to give this cup to you, right? To this love offer, this affection, but they're feeling like they either can't give enough or that they just have too much going on right now. And I'm not trying to justify them. I'm just saying how it is from this person's perspective. And this could be affecting them in different ways than what you can imagine. So again, I'm not trying to justify them. Um, you know, I do feel like this is something that they need to, to overcome. Um, you know, when you want love, you want love and it doesn't matter, you know, but sometimes we, we just can't know what everybody's situation is. Okay. And of course there might be other factors, um, playing in here as well, but this is the message that I am getting. Let's see the lovers. So the four of the lovers. All right. Ooh, tower. And the Six of Wands, uh, yeah, I think Cancer had like a really big like tower type of reading. So some of you might be dealing with that um, or dealing with, with a Cancer. I don't know why I'm saying that, but that's <laughs> apparently there's a reason some of you might be. Um, there's, okay, see, this is this is a person who is really like stuck on their, their status, feeling like they need to either be perfect or that everything needs to be um, in a particular way in order for them to have this connection with you. But what this person is realizing is that that just can't always be the case. You know, like no matter what their financial situation is or what their environmental situation is or, you know, whatever it is that's going on here, whatever is happening with them, um, like that belief needs to be dissolved, basically it needs to be destroyed. And so I feel like, you know, in terms of the connection with you, they're going to be going through a bit of a tower moment here because you know, they have allowed other external situations or external energies to influence, you know, whether they come forward to you or not. And that results in really not having you, you moving away from this. And so there's this tower that's happening here in terms of the connection with you. And, 
You know, I mean, and this has a lot to do with their ego, to be honest. And I'm not saying that in the negative way. It's just that, you know, feeling like they need to be more stable, feeling like they need to be able to provide this and this and this and not feeling that confidence. That's ego. Like, you know, feeling like I'm not enough. Like, no, I can't show that I'm vulnerable in this way. And so I'm not going to move at all. So that's that. I feel like that's what their thinking has been. And I feel like that there's actually a tower happening in relation to that where, you know, that is going to be destroyed. Like that's just not going to give them the result that they want. And it's going to actually be um, pretty intense for them. So that might actually jolt some kind of a shift in them leading up to them being this king of swords, you know, being more action oriented. So let's actually see that knight of pentacles first for you. For what is coming up what you're moving towards we have the emperor ooh, and the nine of pentacles yes scorpio good job all right so see you're moving in the right direction here you are building your own sense of self-worth you are becoming more independent with that nine of pentacles and you're just taking control over your own life because i feel like before you know you were kind of like stuck you were stuck here in a negative way um, because of this connection, it was holding you back and you're moving away from that. You are healing and you are moving towards creating your own happiness with or without this person. And you're actually achieving that. You are, you are achieving that. <laughs> All right, let's see the King of Swords for the other person here. The Seven of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, okay, so this person is gaining clarity over something that, you know, has been um, something that they weren't seeing clearly. And I feel like what they weren't seeing clearly was that, okay, you know, like all of these things that are happening externally, you know, those are just either excuses or that that's just, you know, a self-worth issue. That's, that just has something to do with their own sense of confidence and their own sense of what it is that they can or cannot achieve. You know, having this, um, like that six of wands, this ego where they feel like, you know, they, they need to be either perfect or that they need to be able to provide this and this and this, or they need to have this status. That is the illusion here. And so they're gaining clarity over that. And again, with the knight of wands, I mean, this is an action oriented card. So um, I definitely feel like, you know, this is somebody who is taking some kind of action here towards you. So I wouldn't be surprised if there is if you have not been in communication, if there is communication coming up here, all right, some kind of action being taken. It might not be the most stable, okay, let me just say that, um, but it is something, it is some kind of movement. And I feel like, you know, you, when that happens, you're going to be in a very good place where you will be able to make your, your own discernments as to, you know, how you want to deal with this. So just trust yourself, all right? Because you're standing here like this emperor um, in this nine of pentacles energy, like you are on the right path. You are thinking very clearly. You are not having a negative attachment to this person that is affecting or clouding your own judgment. So you will know exactly, you know, what it is that you need to do or say. Um, to this person when they do actually um, come in. So, because I do see them coming in. All right, Scorpio, that is it. I thank you so much for watching and much love.